gulap. Alright, Shalom. We want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, and Kakudach. Double honor to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who does lead and rule well. Salutations. Told you hopefully let Akim push out this word in sincerity and in truth on the full comes of the earth. And sincere Shalom also to all you Akim and Akwaf listening and learning and praying to us in these last days. Alright, and to the entire household of faith, fighting this good fight of faith, we want to say Shalom. Uh, we the Hebrew Israelites uh, from the Great Millstone DC camp come back at you with another uh, street teaching. You know, we are the uh, faction of the uh, neck of our enemies. You know, we break up into like four camps trying to spread the word. You know, oh, can you get that? Uh, one of you know, well, we can already see the end coming, you know, but it, as it is our job, we have to prophesy this word. Even if we, we prophesy into the wind, it says, you know, putting out that vibe, putting the vibration out there, you know, the Heavenly Father is on his way, uh, uh, the Heavenly Father is about to send his son back, he's about to visit the earth, you know, and he's about to save his people. And wait, we, this is just a part of his story, we, we saying it, you know, because it, cause it's written that way, so it has to happen, somebody has to play that role, okay? This is Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Yeah, for a witness unto all nations, man. So ain't nobody, there's not gonna be a soul that's gonna sit up here and say they ain't never heard of this thing, man. Right. They not, they, the, the whole contrary, the controversy of, of Zion or Israel, like who are the Israelites? Who are the biblical is Israelites? Are they still here? Right. Cause that that question opens up a whole the, 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 what is it the, the, like a domino effect, man? Yeah. Cause if, if you are the actual Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are the actual Israelites. All right. What was prophesied about them in the last days? All right. Uh, 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 who, then you gonna ask the question, who are the Edomites? You know. When is the kingdom of heaven coming? Then what the what, what does that call this place? That's why this place is Mystery Babylon. You know, once you once you know that that basic fact, everything starts to can, can, the story starts to make sense. Right. You know, these like, these people have no connection to, to to real life reality in the Bible. They don't they don't think there's no real connection there, man. You know, they just they really think that the Bible is just a a book of uh, of uh, feel good stories, not understanding that it's actual history and actual prophecy. You know, go ahead. This is uh, Romans 10 and 18. It says, But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. Yep. Right, and it says, have they not heard? It says, yes, verily, which means truly. No one's going to be able to say, have they heard the words of the Lord, or have they ever come across his message? And the, and the reason why is because the Lord is broadcasting it uh, throughout the whole planet Earth, man, by way of the internet, you know. So everyone's gonna come across this word, and then, like we read in Matthew, the end is gonna come, and we can see the end is coming. Man. That's right. We can see the end is coming, man. We 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 uh, we still hearing about the wars and the rumor wars. You know what's taking place in uh, in the Levant area, the Red Sea area. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, we see these uh, nations uh, pushing, essentially pushing for this. Uh, this, this, this MRTV, man. The, the, the system is already being built out. They, uh, it was a recent article that just passed that said uh, Google is planning on firing over 300 employees, right? Because AI has made it more efficient. Artificial intelligence, which that's going to pretty much be governing the world. That's how they're using these, these things as, as if they're angels or something, man. You know? Right. But this is a part of that, this devil trying to set up his image, you know, and his beast system, man. But it's all prophesied in the scriptures. And we're going to say, and the scriptures talk about how that's going to end for them and how it's going to end for our people, man. You know? Go ahead and get that Ezekiel 37. This is Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 9. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, 
Thus saith the Most High Yahweh, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as that's he... All I, you know, but, that, but that's... Hey, talking about... Uh, matter of fact, keep going on that. First... You know, because like I said, the awakening... Which the, which they, uh, uh, the awakening of the Israelites is in the scriptures, man. The, 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 the signs you see in us out here, with the signs with the, uh, the tribes on it, that's all biblical scriptures, man. You know? There was another one. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came unto them, and they lived, and stood upon their feet an exceeding great army. Yeah, now that breath, just like in the beginning, all right, it's talking about the breath of life, man. Now I'm talking about the, the creation. You know, when, when, I, when they started talking about man, uh, it breathed in the, uh, uh, I'm gonna have to get it now, you know? But the breath of life was breathed into him, and he became a living a spirit, a soul. You know, that's the same thing now. This is how we know. This is how we, because it's about to be a, a rebirth, a real rebirth soon, anyway. You know, but this is how we know that it was talking about a specific people and not just everybody, because we see it playing out now. Certain men is being made into the image of of, of the Lord's, uh, the Most High's dear son Yahweh Shai. You know. Which he's made in the image of, of the Heavenly Father, so it's the same. Whereas you got the majority of these people, they they going into the image of the beast. They just the adversaries, man. Uh, Adversarial to, to the ways of the Lord. But to them, that's their natural fucking habitat. <laughs> it's rebellious when 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 you do it, you Israelite, because you his chosen people, you the ones he gave his ways to, man. You know? So like I said. The Bible is actual reality, man. You you people just don't understand that because you can't see. You're blinded. Your eyes is blinded and covered by by, the, by this man, this devil. So which means that he did a really good job, man. Because that is his job. You know? Hey, my man. <laughs> see? They like zombies for real. You know? Because cause a lot of these people just extras in this movie. It was just... Uh, uh, excuse me, talk about uh, them that's born in vain. You know, you have no real significance. You're just a heathen that had to be created for, for a particular cause. Go ahead. And this, yep. What are you going to say? No, I'll get it later after I finish this. Uh -huh. uh, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 11. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dry and our hope is lost. We are cut off from our parts. Yeah, when you when you, when you you are dry bones, that means you walking around with no hope. You know, right. you know, you and who, yo, our people really don't have no hope in this place, man. You're just servants, you're, you're you're pretty much spiritually dead, man. You don't have no connection to the heavenly Father. You know, this why, why you think your house shall say you you drink of uh, this cup, you should never thirst again. You know, because now you got that connection back to your house by show me how shot. You actually know who you are. You 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 know your purpose. Let's give us talk about the whole duty of man is to serve the Lord. We ain't doing that. What the hell are we? We living in vain for real. God, you know? You you what are you what, what, what's your existence about? And that's why Jake, what does scripture say? What did have Israel uh not found that which he's seeking for? Yeah, let's get that because because why was Jay seeking after something? Because they ain't had that, they ain't had a, the, the, the breath of life. They search, constantly searching for it. E even when you get to the, 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 the supposed mountaintop in this world, all of them motherfuckers is miserable, man. All these, you, you, these entertainers and stuff, they all miserable, man. You know? Because they missed the mark. The scriptures say, what's the conclusion of the whole matter? To, uh, uh, fear the Most High and keep His commandments. Yep. But this is the whole duty of men. You know, when you when you cross out the the your whole purpose, which is Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, which is the Lord, it doesn't matter what you do in this world. You're always gonna feel empty and void. Yeah. And, and King, King Solomon talked about that, man. He 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 said his soul. You know, he pretty much was exploring like shit in that arc of uh, Yahweh Shah's life, man. Right. You know, he was exploring everything and he found that all this stuff is vain, man. Without the Lord, it, it, you serve no real purpose, man. Right. You know? 
But go ahead and get that. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for. But the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. Yeah. And, and the rest were blinded. So if you can't really see what's going on, you just blind it, man. See, in our, in our carnal minds, we'd be like, yo, it's impossible that these people can't get it. Are they dumb? You know? It's like, it don't make no sense that you can't understand this truth. If it wasn't written, we, we would think like that. But we understand that a lot of you are blinded. A lot of you are blinded because the Heavenly Father don't want you. So, so we left to, to, to uh, consider that maybe they're just the undesirables, man. You know? This is why we're not sitting up here trying to convert everybody. Because we're going to lose our goddamn mind trying to convert Jake. Rebellious asses. It's like, yo, it's right here spelled out for you. Wasn't you always... You, they, they will be some people that's trying to seek their calling. Oh, I'm seeking knowledge. You know, I'm seeking after knowledge. This is what, this, this, that's what I'm trying to find my purpose. Then you give it straight to them. And they cast it under their feet, man. That's, that's how you know that they Israelites, though. Yeah. Niggas is just, yo, I can only, uh, uh, come up in my mind that the most high just don't want that. You know? So, so we not say, look, we not, we not just trying to have every Israelite come into this thing, man. And we even understand that even if you know you Israelite, that don't make you up the Israelite or the most high. Scriptures is deep, man. Okay. You're talking about why Jake can't get it. You know, this is a case where you're going to use uh, Esau, so 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 called science against him. And this is, uh, it says, why people can't see the truth. Now, remember, we're talking about Jake here. And this guy's name was Yuri Vesmanov, and he was a KGB informant, a disinformation expert who defected to Canada. He is best remembered for his anti communist lectures and books in the 80s. He says, exposure to true information does not matter anymore. A person who is demoralized is unable to assess true information. The facts tell him nothing. So this is when we go in there, go in there and we would look up the word demoralized, then look up certain synonyms. You, you jakes are lost people, you know? Which goes back into being destroyed. They took in your soul, if you will. Go ahead. Says the facts tell him nothing, even if I shower him with information, with authentic proof, with documents and pictures, he will refuse to believe it. That's the tragedy of the situation of demoralization. Yep. So they essentially, and look up that word. You gotta look at that word too. Yeah. Definition. So they demoralized you, Jakes, man. Scripture talk about how they laid your body to the ground and just walked over you, man. That's why you, you, you Jakes don't realize that you fucking sick. You, you are sick in it. The scriptures say the whole head is sick. Right. And, and you refusing the medicine. You got a terminal illness, nigga. And you refusing the medicine, man. Yahweh Shah said, uh, them that be whole need not a physician. And you niggas think you're good. But you out here through. You can't even see your own struggle, man. Go ahead. Well, the sign is a bit of, at the end of the day, who's behind all this when it comes to Jake? It says, demoralize, to the undermine the confidence or morals of, dishearten, to put into disorder, you see confuse. That? You see that? He's put you into disorder, to confuse. And so going back to Genesis, when the Lord created us in his image, we was being brought out of that confused state, being brought out of the, the dust, man. But the, but the majority of our people, they still, they lost in the sauce of Babylon, which also means confusion. You know? You you all, all out of sorts, man. You know what, you don't, you don't know which way you going, man. And that's what happens. That's why they demoralize you. You don't realize that we posted the video uh, last week, uh, the, the, the experiment that was done about the, the rats. Mm -hmm. And how, how they was given certain resources and the other ones wasn't how, they wasn't able to even critically think they wasn't able to figure nothing out man you jakes don't understand that you've been under a, a psyop a psychological operation man they've done a number on you niggas man yep. that that you out you out really choosing that which is which is is, is death to you man right. and, and 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 that which is supposed to be for you 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 refusing it man 
If that's not a sick, mentally sick person, I don't know what is. But it's a mentally sick people, man. Yeah. You know? Okay. Go ahead. I was just thinking, the brother made me think. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, if you look at Jake and stuff like that, that what they be believe is beautiful is not them. Like the more like your hair doesn't look like how it's supposed to look, or the lot of your complexion, stuff like that, that's deemed more beautiful in the eyes of our people. Just a, just a sign of how fucked up in the head our people are. You know? I got, uh, scripture. The scripture says our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And so that really means that. For lack of this, our people think that what's, what's negative, what's less, is uh, above everything. Right. On the way to the store over there real quick, when I, you know, I had to go to the store real quick, there was Eve walking across and she had a full head of blonde hair, man. Mm -hmm. You seen that? It's the thick uh, Eve or whatever you want to call her. She had a, a, a full head of a, a blonde hair. Now according to the scriptures, that's leprosy. Yeah. When our people had any form of leprosy, they felt bad about it. They right. sought the priest, Lord, mm -hmm. hey, hey, priest, can you go up to the Lord and get this leprosy off of her? Pray to get this leprosy removed. Nobody wanted uh, leprosy like that, but yet you're constantly wearing leprosy. The only person on the planet that can get that blonde hair, other than if it's a defect, okay, the only person that really gets that blonde hair are the Edomites. Same thing with the red hair. The sexy red and all this now, all the chicks are following after sexy red. And she's not the only one. You have Faith Evans who did it. You had Charlie Baltimore. All these chicks who wore that red hair. And guess what? E Esau wears the red hair. You see? You think that what's less is valuable. You're destroyed for lack of knowledge. Okay, can you get a Psalms 119 and 10? Sure. You know? You know, uh, John 6 and Ice Spice is another one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were showing pictures of her in high school. Yeah. And she had Jake, regular brown hair. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, while she's being promoted to the masses, yeah. her hair is all orange, reddish. Yeah. Ginger. Yeah. And, that, and that's that, that's a style that's what that the oppressor has. Now again, you have some jakes that have that as a defect. That's why I mentioned it. Absolutely. Because somebody be stupid. Well, you got this tribe in Africa. They naturally grow blue eyes. Up. Okay. But that's still a negative trait. Those are negative genes. Those are not good genes. When you have uh, 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 blue eyes, green eyes, and stuff like that, that's actually worse when it comes to the sun. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When you look into it. Yeah, yeah. You, you got something to say something? Yeah. This is Psalms 119 and 10. Uh -huh. uh, with my whole heart, I have, I have, I sought thee. Oh, let me not, let me not wonder from thy commandments. Oh, beautiful. Uh, Psalms, Psalms 119 and 110. Shot. 110. That's the thing, like the brother said, what is our old purpose? Our old purpose is to what? Serve you how about you shot? But our people are wandering away from that, and guess what? We're out here lost. Looking completely, completely stupid out here. All right? Go ahead, bro. This Psalms 119, verse 110. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I have erred not from the pre from thy precept. Yeah, but you, the first part of that, the wicked have laid a snare for me. A snare means a trap. That's what the brother has said. Yeah. These people have set it up to put us down and keep us down. That's what the scriptures say, surely the turning of things upside down. Like yeah. Esau literally turned everything upside down. And they got they got our people following after his ass. That's, that's a hell of a trap, man. Thinking that he's the way to go. He's the way to be. Thinking, uh, making mockery of our scriptures and stuff like that. That's like the brother said, he did a number on our people. Yeah. That's that trap. Yeah. But that's what happens when you uh, 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 have control over the whole world. If you've been given the blessing to control the whole world, you can make traps like that. It's not hard to believe. These jakes will sit there and say, how can a white man do all this? How can he get all this power? Well, if the blessing comes from on high, absolutely. The, the sword that he got, the blessing that he got, wasn't just a physical sword. It wasn't just the physical sword. The, the main sword is here. Mm -hmm. Deception. That's if I can look. If there's an army coming after me, right? If I go up and fight that army, one or two people may I may get. The rest of the people may get me, right out of that army. But if I can direct that whole army that's coming after me to be on my side, 
Come on, man. You got control of the whole army. You see? Let me get that. Uh, uh, John 6, or 44, and then John 6, uh, 14 and 6. This is St. John chapter 6, verse 44. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me. Yup, yup, John 6 and 44. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me. Because I'm, I'm drawing off of the brother, the brother's statement of the Spirit. You see, when the brother earlier said that uh, the Lord gave you over to those things because he doesn't want you. And that's scary. Now, in order to be delivered, we got to go through the Son, Yahweh Shai. That's how deliverance out of here. We have to go through the Son. Now, Yahweh Shai said, no man can come to me except what? This is uh, St. John chapter 6, verse 44. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. So the Father who controls everything, he, he essentially is saying that the Heavenly Father controls everything. So no man can come unto him except the Heavenly Father draw that person unto him. Now, uh, uh, John 14 and 6, bro. St. John 14 and 6. He always shall say unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. See that? So wait a minute. We have to get back and make the Heavenly Father pleased. But the only way to do that is to be what? Go through the Son, Yahweh Shai. But the only way to do that is if the Father allows that. So if you guys are rejected, you know, and, and, and rejected from hearing this word, it's from on high. The Lord don't want His Son to save you. Remember, He set His Son up to be the Savior. If you're rejected, that means because the Heavenly Father himself doesn't want his son to save you. Yeah. Because anybody who the son says is good, he's good. Right. If the son says, remember, he said to the Pharisees and the wicked Jews, he said, you don't believe because you are not of my sheep. This is all St. John 10 and 25. Yahweh shall answer them, I told you and you believe not. Look, I told you and ye believe not. That's why the scripture, when the scripture talks about all they that believe, it's talking to the Israelites. Because you're going to have Israelites that believe, and you're going to have Israelites that believe not. That's not talking about the whole entire world. Go ahead. It says, I told you, and you believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. Yeah, his works, his works that he does, it, it, it lets you know that he's the son of the Most High. By his works. He's doing the things that were written of him before time. He's coming over here doing miracles in the name of the Father. His works bear witness that he is the Son of the Most High. But you believe not. Why? Because ultimately the Heavenly Father programmed it for you not to believe on his Son. Remember, if his Son says a person is good, he's good. Because the Lord set it up that way. But if he doesn't, if he doesn't give you over to the Son to say that he's good, you're asked out. Isn't that something? Okay, I want these particular men to see my son. And then my son evaluates them and says they're good, they're good with me. You see that? That's scary. The Heavenly Father himself has to draw you to his son to get back to him. It's all control, man. So if you're not hearing this word, it's the Heavenly Father, the God of the universe, actually rejecting you. Go ahead, bro. Verse 26. John, St. John 10 and 26. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Yeah, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And his sheep is those from the beginning. His, his sheep, his followers, his true disciples are those from the beginning. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. So if you was always a sheep of Yahweh Shai, right? If you're a sheep of Yahweh Shai, you were always destined to be that sheep from the beginning. You got that guy Tank, uh, Javante Tank Davis that everybody likes because he's from Bimor, from this area or whatever. This guy that changed over to Islam. I don't know if he's going by Tank anymore. Nah, Ali. I, I mean, I, but, it, but here's, hear me out. Tank, of course, is what? His uh, stage name. So his real name is Javante Davis. Mm -hmm. Well, name the day, government name, so to speak. So he changed his name over to Wahid, what, uh, uh, who was it, Abdul Wahid. So what is it, Abdul Tank Wahid? Wahid, what is it? <laughs> Abdul Wahid? You, you're gonna change over to Islam that has no answers, that has no prophecies? 
the scripture says when you go to Jeremiah the 41st chapter it'll, it'll tell you that a real God deals with prophecy what prophecy does the Quran have you know what it is these niggas are converting over to this because number one like we said the Lord don't want them number two carnally they see the splendor of the Ishmaelites mm. so since they see damn they go over to Saudi Arabia for fights now and all this other stuff Dubai they see how you know niggas made that song they got that air that rap money they got that air rap money all that crap yeah. they see the splendor of all that they say you know what let me rock with this this is foolishness man that Saudi and all that, all that shit's about to go down, like we were saying all the way up here. Seventy percent of the countries are trying to what? Find their way to the CBDC. Seventy percent. Central banking digital currency. I went to an Amazon firm the other day on the fly because I wanted to get some uh, kombucha drinks. That goddamn uh, to even get in the store, the, the Seinfeld. To even, to even get in the store, you had to have an Amazon account or to scan your uh, debit card. And when you go out, you don't even uh, uh, go to a register, you just walk out. It'll just let you out and charge the card that you use to scan in there. So that little icon of put your palm over the thing and everything, what do you think that is? Right. That's the MOTB, that's what, that deals with digital currency. They also got that Whole Foods. Yeah. Well, Whole Foods, you know, Amazon acquired Whole Foods. Mm. So I mean, you know what I mean? Amazon bought out Whole Foods. So it's only a matter, I don't know, that's stupid. Why don't they just name everything Amazon for? Right. <laughs> they bought it out. That's just like home, that's just like home goods and TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They all own under the same umbrella and they sell the same shit. <laughs> just make TJ Maxx home Marshalls or something. Home Marshalls. You know, that's that's stupid, you know, but it is what it is. But just going back to the point, they're setting it up for the MOTB. You yeah. see? Yeah, 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 yeah. You recently had. Yeah, you had, uh, well, it's been talked about for a while, but you had Russia and Iran finally ditch the U.S. dollar, man. Like, for good. So, but it's, 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 it's that chaos that's going to lead into this order. But, with all that happening, you're going to have a lot more trouble here in America, man. You know? So, so, so shit is going to get a lot harder for you, you basic citizens. And as we were talking about how they, they bringing in all these immigrants, this is just the chaos that they're trying to bring so they can usher in this new system, man. No, oh, like, to uh, land back off what the short brother just said, be prepared for false flag attacks. Because as you have an influx of immigrants coming in, you're going to have people that are, they're saying that are from Iran and all this other stuff. And remember, they vowed to get America back in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Going all the way back to when they killed that general off. Yeah. They, they don't forget that shit. People just boil up like a snake in the corner and wait to strike. Mm -hmm. but be, be prepared for a lot of uh, false flag attacks, too. All right? But remember, before war really kicks off, we got to have the issuance of what? The MOTB. Right. So the false flag attacks and all that can what? Help usher, usher that in. Yeah, yeah no, it was an uh, article that came out said Iranian national was terrorized caught crossing the U.S. northern border illegally. See? So that's where they're going to start pushing that whole terrorism thing. Where you don't really have, they can just arrest you on suspicion, you know? And, and, you, you don't get to make a phone call. None of your rights is going to exist, you know, or under the guise of terrorism, bubble. Who's the, who's going to determine who's a terrorist? And then they use an AI that can fucking predict if you're going to do something based upon whatever likes you got and whatever's in your phone. Like this is this is the world we turn we coming into, man. And that time <laughs> they used to say about this kind of kind of what's the movie Minority Report. Minority Report, yeah. That was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah, they turned it into a show and everything, man. But see, this is them telling telling you what they're about to do. They, they didn't for no reason. They had the Obamas was the ones that produced that mo uh, that movie on Netflix, yeah. Leave the World Behind. Yeah. You know, they, but they're just telling you what they're about to do. It, it, you don't have to believe it. You know, you don't have to believe it. But everything that's that's that um 
that that uh, we've been saying is happening ha has happened, man. Oh, uh, second was uh, 16. Second was 16 in uh, around uh, the 41st verse. <laughs> he gonna die. He gonna yeah. die. And hey, you gonna die, man. No, I'm hanging out. You gonna die, man. What, what did he do? do? Nah, he, he was he was mocking us. It's, it's all right. right. It's all right. That's why I say like you ain't gotta believe it. You know? You, they don't gotta believe it. You know? Cause they, cause look, and I did the video. They gonna be mourning. Mm. They 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 laughing now, but they gonna be crying later. And our our sorrow is gonna turn into joy, man. Right. Because our power is the true power, man. And everybody gonna know it. Yes, sir. Don't nobody want it to be known way more than the Heavenly Father. We want right. it to be known. We want to be known as the chosen, the Israelites, man. Oh, hey, bro. Because in the scripture, it, it talked about in Egypt when Yahweh's name wasn't known like that. Yeah. But then after the flood, it was known. Yeah. Was known. After, after, he, after he did something, he raised up Pharaoh in Egypt for his purpose. That's right. So he could destroy them in the miraculous way that he did. Had all them nations shook. You know? Hey, look. Hey, mm -hmm. can we get that? Can you find that, that uh, account? It's one of the pocketbooks. Well, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, slot. Yeah. You know? Like, the Lord gave the so-called white man all his power. We was talking about it earlier. The power over the whole earth. To, the power to deceive. And it, and how quickly the Lord going to bring his ass down. How, 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 look how the Lord uh, allowed them to build up uh, uh, Babylon the Great. Off the blood, sweat, and tears of, of his people. Just so he can properly repay them, man. Uh, Revelation yeah. the 18th chapter. We're going to get all of it, man. See, y'all don't understand how real the scriptures is. And this is why we so we standing so stiffly. Because we fully persuaded. We, we, we are convinced. And the Lord, is so, he shows us every day, man. You people just don't see it. It's going to come as a thief in the night into you, man. You know? Go ahead, huh? Hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. This Romans 9 and 22. What if the Heavenly Father, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? Yeah, the Lord, hey, see the Lord, this is what it means by the Lord is long suffering. The Lord is, he's he's suffering these devils just being so wicked on the planet of destroying his creation, but he's also uh, long suffering with uh, having us in here, you know? His, his, the ones that he loved, also waiting for the ones that, that ain't fully uh, awakened. Right. You see? So he endured the vessels <laughs> of wrath fitted for destruction, man. He endured that rule. Keep going up. Verse 23. It says, and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which he had afore prepared unto glory. See the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy. See, the Lord going to show how terrible he could be, you know, by destroying the Edomites the way he going to do. But in the, simultaneously, he going to show how merciful he is by redeeming his people, whom they believed. Everybody looked at us as castaways, man. Nobody right. in the world cared about us, man. Right. They, they watched us be, uh, be destroyed under the hands of this damn devil. Right. And nobody better than I. In fact, they all, uh, they all jumped in. Right. Ooh, the scriptures talk about how uh, they licking the swords. You know? Right. And they want us to, we supposed to love all these people, man. Y'all try goddamn mind. Uh, Don't right. let no fucking Jake out here try to convince you that you supposed to love all these people. Because they sick in the head. And we was already talking about it, man. Right. And if, you know? If everybody could be saved, that just would be unjust and wicked, man. Yeah, man. Because the Jake are the undesirable. Jake are the ones that is up deep. That is up deep. I love y'all, man. man. Yeah. Jake is, love the, Jake is in need of, get it on Save camera. Me. Get it on camera. Save my soul though. You know? The, the, the best way you gonna get your soul saved is if you listen. Can y'all pray you know? for me? You gotta listen. Who we gonna pray for if you, if you not really trying to listen save yourself? I'm listening that's, now. That's what it is. So now we gonna tell you why we in this position, man. This is what we talking about. The only, the, the, you gotta know who you are in order to, and you gotta change, amend your ways, and come back to the Heavenly Father. That's, that's the way. That's the blueprint. I don't know how though. It's, it comes by just listening. Uh, uh, get that faith coming by hearing. That's right. Because you need That's faith right. in the heavenly Father, man. You gotta, you gotta build a relationship back up with your, with your power, our power. You know, the Lord got us in this position for a reason. 
Now we'll tell you that it's just temporary. You got an old soul. You smart though. It's like I'm talking to God though. You like nah, 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 nah. I'm not. <laughs> you know. But it's, this is the words of the Heavenly Father. That's all it is. You know. Matter of fact. Oh, and this is my problem. Yeah. You know. You want to not drink that right now. You know. Why we? Why we trying to? Talk? It's hard. Though, okay. It's, it's I understand. Hard, I understand. Can you get Isaiah 61 real quick? This is Isaiah chapter 61. We want to start talking. Yes. This is Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. The Spirit of the Most High is upon me because the Most High has anointed me. You hear that? Because you just said that. And this, this goes for all of us, brothers. The Spirit of the Heavenly Father is upon us. That's all. Tell me how I train. I'm going to hear that. Here we go get you. Go to ahead. preach good tidings unto the meek. That's he where it starts. It starts by preaching this, this word. You got to hear this word. You know, because it's going to tell us everything. It's going to tell you everything you so need to know. So if I pray all day to God, though. What'd you say? If I pray every day to God. Every day to God? Yeah, every day. Yeah, but what's God's name? Allah. No, that's not his name. Allah means God or power, but that's just a title. What's God's name then? I, I will tell you if you listen. I'm listening. Up. You know? Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. The Spirit of the Most High is upon me. Because the Most High hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. See, the, the Lord anointed us to preach this word unto the meek so that you can, that, that void that you're feeling, this is supposed to heal it. Keep going. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To bind up the brokenhearted. So you what about getting mad? Oh, listen, 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 listen. Keep going. To proclaim liberty to the captives. To, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Because right now, we are slaves, man. You know? I'm we, not no slave. You are a slave. You got a uh, social security number? Yeah. That means you're a slave. You pay taxes, right? Yeah. That means you're a slave. Keep going. And the opening of the prison to How them you know that are that bound. Though, man? Hold on. Say that again. How do you and know the, that though? How do I know what? Who taught you that though, man? You made me cry, man. Who, who taught you that, man? That we are slaves? Who taught you that, man? Who taught me that we are slaves? Who taught you that, man? The Bible. Our apostles, our apostles and elders through the Holy Spirit. You know yeah. slaves. You, you have men that taught us. And we're teaching you. That's that's how it is. Every yeah, man has to be taught. That's why the brother was gonna get that scripture. Faith coming by hearing. Yeah, I'll get that one first. This uh, man is smart though, but you, man. But you know, but you know what, brother? One of the things that we have to do, we have to do, man, because it's, it's, it's detrimental if we don't do it. It's, it. Meaning it hurts us if we don't do it. One of the things we have to do is listen, brother. In this world, we've been taught to talk and speak our mind all the time. That's been failing us, brother. Mm. We have to listen. Go ahead, bro. This is Romans 10 and 7 and 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Most High. Yeah, now if he read up in that chapter, it talks about why hey, why the Lord sent us. Yeah. He gave, cause we didn't know this at one point, but the Lord gave us this, now we can stand up here and we can, it can seem like we wise and you know we can what? speak I'm boldly. happy because y'all lift my spirit up though. I feel safe though. Y'all not trying to harm me, or hurt me though. Yeah, but, rob me though, all that stuff though. But the thing is, the thing is, there's a lot, we are a prey, our people are a prey, you know? So it's a lot of people that is gonna try to harm you. I'm talking about the so-called white man and, and what his plans that he is about to bring. But I'll tell you something else, the Heavenly Father got plans to harm our, a lot of our people. And I'm talking about a lot oh, of our people. Oh, 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 You said Heavenly Father trying to harm us though? Yeah, he's gonna harm us if we don't listen to him. That's why we're trying to tell you the right things so that he don't do that. You see what I'm saying? I don't believe that. I don't believe falling on harbor though. Yeah, I mean the scriptures say our people they would think the Lord would neither do good nor evil. I don't, I don't believe that though. All right, you want me to get into the Bible? Yeah. Okay. I ain't gonna wear. Uh, show me. Cause, cause look, yeah. it's not about uh, our opinion. Uh, it's about the Show me. Prove to me though. That's good. That's good. Yeah. You get that. This, well, I agree. Good. I agree. Prove it to me. This is Amos chapter nine and verse ten. It says, "All the sinners of my people yeah. shall die." By the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. See, that, that's what they say. They, the word evil means bad times. Now, our people can try to say it's not going to happen and, and all that. They cannot believe it. But our people also went through slavery. Our people also went through mass incarceration. Our people also went through Jim Crow. Did you so, did you not believe that uh, then? Did you hear what he just said? Yeah, no. 
we, we, we went through what? No, it's, it's shopping, mass, though. Yeah, mass yeah, incarceration. So yeah. Are we not incarcerated right now? Yes, we are, though. We're the most people that's incarcerated. Yeah. That's like, it, it, yeah. Say but but see, then that's my thing. My question is... So can I ask you let, let, let me say this. Let me ask you a question oh, real question, quick. My man, my man. Let me ask you a question real quick. Yeah. You didn't believe when we said... You didn't believe when we said that the Lord is is, is going to do harm. I believe now, though. Right. Now, watch this, though. Mm -hmm. What you think about the young nigga killing that? What y'all what you, what you say about that, though? I mean, it's all in the Bible. You know? You, what you mentioning is curses. You know, that's one part of the Bible. We try and give you the whole thing. You know? We try and give you the whole thing. And that's the only way you're going to be saved. Can you read up in the, um, Romans the 10th chapter? You know? Uh, Romans 10 and verse 13. It says, For whosoever shall call. That's what you wanted? Hey, so you don't, want? don't, excuse me. Nah, because you just read. Oh, what, yeah, because what, hey, what, 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 what you got to what you gotta understand is you have to be taught the fear of the Lord. 13. I mean, the brother read the scripture to you. He said, All the bad people. You, know, I feel I feel you, you have to, understand, not listening the, you to, have to understand the fear of the Lord, brother. The fear of the Lord will have you, hey, once again, calm down. No, and actually hear okay, everything that's coming though? out. You gotta die that down if it's a problem. Is it is it drinking a problem? No. But if it's, it's a problem in your life, you have to consider that. You know, everything is with, with a balance. Alright? Right. Go, go here, bro. This is all uh, Romans 10 and 13. Listen, listen, brother. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's why I asked you, you said if you pray to the Lord every day, what does that mean? And I said, what is the name of the Lord? Can I tell you what, can I say how I pray though? It don't matter. I'm no. trying to tell you. Can I tell you, please? Go ahead. I said, I said, you know what I said? Father God, in Jesus' name, please protect then me. Then you're wrong right there. How's I wrong? That's what we're trying to explain to you, but you keep talking. I, now read that again. Listen to what he just said. Romans 10 and 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, Shall be saved. Right. And so when I ask you what's the name of the Lord, you don't know it. Then you then you spewing out, you said God, now you saying in the name of God and Jesus Christ. Now I see what you Jesus saying. Jesus Christ though. doesn't exist. Now I see what you saying though, right? Now I see what you're saying. So what are we saying then? He's saying though, stop praying to something that don't exist though. Essentially. Right? Essentially. So I'm, I'm saying you got you already was wrong right there. Yeah, right? Right. Verse verse 14. How but, then? But you. But the whole point is, you gotta pray into the right name. That's how you are gonna be saved. So who got praying to though? Keep going. Verse fourteen. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they? Yeah, believe? How can you call on who we talking about if you don't even believe in him? Right. Keep going. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Yeah. The reason why you don't believe in him because you was never taught this. This is why it's very important when you first come up to us, you got to be quiet. You got to listen. Because you don't know this. You haven't been taught it. Thank you, though. I got you. Thank you, though. You man. haven't been, but we, we hey, wasn't taught it. We wasn't taught in the churches. Else. Hold on, hold on. We wasn't taught in the churches. Listen, we man. wasn't, tur we wasn't listen, taught man. in the schools. Listen, man. Like, you know? We, 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 we was so, never man. taught these things. So we got to get it now. And the Lord was so gracious enough. I got to get it. Do what you got to do. You know, first of all, the Lord, he said it, it pleased him to, to bruise his son mm -hmm. in order for us to get this knowledge, man. It said the Lord, was, the Lord is long suffering for us to be able to get this knowledge, man. That's the sacrifice that the Lord did because we was never taught. So now he sent his prophets and he sent his men early. So, so Jacob have a chance. But, 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 oh no, but then Jacob turn around and say the Lord ain't love him. It say that in uh, the book of Malachi. They said, where is that? Has thou has loved me? Can you get that? Oh, yeah. You know? Because that's what y'all don't understand the love of the Lord, man. That's why we out here. It's, it's our reasonable service to do what we're doing, man. Mm. These people don't really got love for the Lord. You know? Why you think he loved David like that, man? Because David was a man after most of his own heart, meaning he, he wanted, his desires was the Lord's desires, man. That's how we feel out here. When Jake came up last week talking that crazy, he don't want to worship your house shot. Hey, what do you mean, nigga? You know? You, you, we feel some type of way because we're passionate about our 
that's our that's our blood. That's our family right there. You know? You know how a child loves their father? <laughs> you know? That's how we feel. That's my big brother. You know? Mm. It's your big brother too, and you disrespecting him with that wrong too. You know? See, but this that's what I'm saying, man. These this scripture, these scriptures are real life, man. You know? This is real life, but Jake don't want to consider that. They think everything's a game. I don't believe that. And Jake believes that's the scripture. That's how powerful the word is. But 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 after all we went through, they still don't believe that the Heavenly Father is gonna do something on this planet Earth. Are y'all people sick? Yeah. We see them, what they doing. We see them put, putting their plans together, man. Yeah. We we need to. We hey, look. We going under the high tower of the Lord for that covering right there, man. Yeah. We need that. You don't see what's about to come, man. That's why we are. We on. We coming to the highways by. We crying. This is this is the Lord crying out to you people, man. That's the love, of, the love of the Lord right there, man. You got uh, that in now? Uh, this is Malachi chapter one, verse one. The burden of the word of the Most High to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Most High. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Yeah. The Lord said he loved us, man. And you gonna sit up here and turn around and say, hey, you ain't never loved us. Yeah. Yeah. Everything the Lord did for you. You know how wicked I liken that into? Like a, a man that did everything for this bitch and she's still talking about, well, you ain't do this, this thing for me. He changed your whole life. When you see something else and you, and you got curious and, and no, none of that what he's done for you meant anything at that point. The first time he told you no, it didn't mean nothing to you, right? That's how ungrateful you did your life, son, man. Keep going. Was not Esau Jacob's brother, uh -huh. saith the Most High? Yet I love Jacob and I hated Esau. Yeah, yeah, and Esau was the firstborn. But the Lord loved you. He allowed you to have the birthright, man. Whenever, whenever you was 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 in good grace with the Lord, He protected you, man. But you 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 want to just run around and be with any any man, right? Any uh, any old new man that you you know. Yeah. But but then you want the Lord to protect you. It's kind of like how the so-called black woman now, yeah, nobody protects black women, but they won't let you. They don't listen to you. Yeah, they won't. Yeah. How you want us to protect you and you won't submit to us? Yeah. It, do, you, it doesn't work that way, man. You people don't live in reality. Right. And the reality going to smack all you motherfuckers in the face when the Lord come back and do what he do. Y'all yeah, yeah. think the Lord not going to do what he going to do. And he said he hated Esau, punk ass. You know? And y'all think he love Esau. No. Not when do you read what we reading. This nigga is about, he's been set up for the biggest okie doke of all time. <laughs> this nigga done got himself in some real fucking shit. Okay. Hey, I, I was, knowing everything Israel went through and we, we gonna go through Jacob's trouble, I would rather choose the Israelite any day yeah. rather than the judgment that Esau punk ass about to get, man. <laughs> any, them, them niggas don't wanna be Edomites. <laughs> they over here trying to be Israel now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They running away as far as they can from that judgment. Guess what? It ain't happening. That's right. That alone gonna show the Lord loves us and hate them niggas, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. It say that in Revelation even. It said that, that so that he gonna have them come and bow down so that they know that he has loved us, man. That's one of my favorite scriptures. I remember when I was first reading these scriptures, bro, I was raised. You know? So like it. I wanted to jump through, run through a wall when I was reading these scriptures, man. Because we was always told that we wasn't shit. We were told that from everybody, man. And the Lord said he loved us, man. And they got a problem with it. They want to take that away from us, too. Well, you can't do it. You know? You know where that scripture is in Revelation? Yeah, this brother got it right there. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, I was it. there, too. <laughs> now, if you're already there, you get it. Was you done on Malachi? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was the point. Okay. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. They got that sign up there. All right. Uh, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet 
and to know that I have loved thee. See? And to know that I have loved thee. And the, uh, the Malak beautifully stated. You know, they try to take everything away from us. You know, they, our whole lives they told us that we wasn't shit. Our whole lives. Now that we finally have something, they trying to take that away too. You have you have no history. Hey, that's even in the scriptures. The scriptures say, hey, let us come and keep them from being a nation. We, we might as well get that. You know, while we talking on it. You know, anything, brother Scott? Yeah, absolutely. Isaiah 61 and 9. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles. And their offspring among the people. All that seed them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. Yeah, that they are the seed that the Lord hath blessed. You, you call it, call it, read it again. Uh, it's uh, yeah. Isaiah 61 and 9. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and their offspring among the people. Uh -huh. All that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. That's why the scripture says that the words are the comforter. Because at the end of the day, we have the Holy Scripture to comfort us. The Scriptures is what? About prophecy. Not just what's going to come on the earth in these times, but also in the kingdom of heaven. The Lord actually gives us a glimpse of what's going to happen in the kingdom of heaven. They're going to all know that we are the blessed seed, the seed of God. They're going to all know that we're the Israelites. Here it is again. They've been trying to tell us our whole lives, even to this point, that we are nothing. Vocab Malone was hired to try to come. We already know that. He was hired to try to come, to try to frustrate us. He, he even said at one point, what's wrong with y'all just being African? Wow. You see? That's coming That's coming from people that what? Really want us to stay in a dead state of mind. And they've actually succeeded on some stupid ass Israelites. Some Israelites listened to them and actually said, you know what? They're right, they went back into Christianity. Guess what? The devil has succeeded in making you lost again. You were like that guy in the Matrix who wanted to go back mm -hmm. and said, I don't want to know Cypher. nothing. Yeah. Well, Cypher mm -hmm. said, right. I don't want to know nothing. I want to be rich. When really, like Revelation, so we talked about Revelation. Revelation, the third chapter again. Let's get the third chapter again, where it says what you really are. Right. This is Revelation chapter 3. It's called, it's called to walk. It says, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, uh -huh. which say they are Jews uh -huh. and are not, but do lie. Uh -huh. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. See, this, this, these people are going to come worship before our feet. Go ahead. And to know that I have loved thee. And to know that we, that what, that the Heavenly Father had loved thee. Land back and again on what the Shah brother said, the Malak said. That we, we know through the scriptures, which are the comforter, that what the Lord loves us, even though we've been brought down low in our whole lives here, in some way, shape, form, or fashion. For a lesser being, like the woman of our nation, to be talking to us the way she's talking to us, lets you know how far we've fallen. The lesser woman is sitting there cussing us out and everything, and really, we're, she's lower than we are. Can you imagine us cursing you, how we shy out? Can you imagine? And the power and what he can do to us? Can you imagine? And we, I'm not even talking about the Heavenly Father. I'm talking about Yahweh Shai. Remember, he was the one who was sanctioned to create everything on the order of the Heavenly Father. So remember, the first spirits that were created came from Yahweh Shai. You see what I'm saying? The power that Yahweh Shai has alone, he's also in the scripture known as what? The Heavenly Father. The everlasting father. Why? Because he created us. Can you imagine us getting in his face and snapping at him? But yet, our physical counterparts on the other side are snapping at us. All right. That's how far we've fallen. Saying assalamu alaikum is how far we've fallen as a people. That's not our customs. Assalamu alaikum will allow what? A nigga to go into a store and shoot up some people. Because Islam has no standard. Islam will believe in violence against their own people. That's why the majority mm. of the brothers that go in there that's incarcerated, they turn to Islam. But guess what? In, in, the, uh, uh, in those institutions of punishment and cruelty, the penitentiaries, 
they make it hard for you to get a Bible and they don't sell apocryphs in there. But they'll sell Qurans and mats and hats in there. But they won't sell, they're hard to sell the Bible and the, and, and the apocrypha. You see? Why? Because they try to keep us from being a nation. Oh, Revelation, uh, no, Revelation 3. Jump down to verse 19. Keep us from being a nation. Uh, Psalms 83. Uh. Well, we're going to jump down to this. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. As many as the Lord loves, he rebukes and chastens. Go ahead. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. See, the brother had uh, said earlier, how do I do that? How do I do what I'm supposed to do? You're supposed to repent. But if you keep talking, we can't even tell you how you get to that point. You could, again, I made a video on that. You could be cool and sincere, but it, it could be to your what? Your downfall, to your ruin. Just because you cool and appear sincere, if you keep talking, you're not going to hear the words of life, and that's going to be to your destruction. So you could be, quote unquote, a cool, laid back dude all you want to. You could agree with us all you want to. Are you taking it in? Right. He said, he, the Lord said, what? Well, repent. Now look at these, get these biker mice from Mars. There was a cartoon called uh, Biker Mice from Mars. Just look, just hellions on bikes and everything, man. All right, now jump down to verse 17, huh? This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 17. Uh -huh. Because thou says, I am rich. 19 17. 17. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increase with goods and have need of nothing. Yeah, because that's the spirit of our people. A lot of our people think they're good being a slave okay go ahead and know us not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor see that's your true state that's 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 why you know what that's why i like i don't like the nigga but you know what i'm saying certain aspects that nigga in uh, uh new york that mayor uh, the yeah. eric didn't know that nigga so, so saucy the nigga talk like that that nigga went around New York and he said he gathered all the bikes, all these bikes, and he's smashing them. He have a goddamn monster truck, some tractor or whatever, run over the motherfuckers, man. Because all they do is ride around causing havoc. Take that away from these niggas, man. They're going to be hurt. Because all they do, they try to find some type of comfort and they ride around being hellions. They probably do more than just ride around. They probably go stick up cats. Probably snatch people's shit and keep riding. Hit cars. Oh, hit cars. You see these, see these, these, this folly has to be taken away from these jakes in order for them to get serious. Ooh. Remember, uh, Ray Lewis, before he retired, no, after he retired, because it's been years now. You know Ray Lewis from uh, 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 Baltimore. He said, if y'all don't bring the sports back, remember, they because they had that uh, period where stuff was shut down. Basketball and football. He said, if y'all keep this shut down, it's gonna be crime in the streets, man. See, that's what's gotta happen. This folly in entertainment has to be shut down. Matter of fact, can, it work? can you look up the word amusement? Go ahead, bro, read, read the rest of that. Huh? Read this it is again. Revelation it chapter three, verse 17. Because thou sayest I am rich uh -huh. and increased with goods uh -huh. and have need of nothing. And need of nothing, go ahead. And knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor. See, you don't know that you're wretched and miserable and poor because in this life right now as we're serving captivity, you are a slave. The brother said, do you have a social security number? The brother said, do you pay taxes? If we don't pay certain bills, we can be put out on the street. Mm -hmm. If you, if, and guess what? If they come, if they come and uh, what? And that more taxes on you, that's less dollars out of your pocket then it's harder for you to live. It's harder for you to pay those bills. And then if you live in an apartment and you don't keep up on that, they can evict you, no matter how long you've lived there. You could be living there for 15 years, being a good tenant, the moment you come short on your rent, guess what, those eviction papers come out. That's why I was gonna say, why, uh, uh, why shall I take the bed from under these? Yeah, 
Get, get that. Get, get that. Get get that. You know? Go ahead, bro. Mm -hmm. Come. And blind and naked. Blind, you're really blind and naked. You're exposed, you're destitute, you're low. That's what our people are. And our people are talking about on this side. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and also the people that may look like other people, may look like other nations, but they actually go back to our seat. Because you have some of our people scattered all over the globe, but they actually go back to our people. Verse 22, verse 27. If thou have nothing to pay, why should I take away thy bed from under thee? See, if you have nothing to pay, if somebody's really down on their luck and they can't afford that place that they're in, go ahead. Uh, Proverbs 22, verse 27. Uh -huh. If thou has nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? And you have that. You have people that are really down on their luck. They couldn't come up with the payment. And yet, guess what? They kick them out on the street. Look what happened when uh, COVID hit. Look at how many people they had a pass for for COVID. But then the, the landlords were getting fed up with it and they eventually kicked them out anyway. Because the landlords wasn't making any money during that time. Remember COVID hit, people lost their jobs. They couldn't afford to pay their rent. Guess what? The landlords were saying, look, you're not paying me. You got to get out. A lot of people lost their belongings during that time. And not just at COVID, before COVID. Let's not get stupid. This is America here. That's the all-American way. As, as old boy said in the movie. You see, America's known for constantly what? Extracting every last dollar out of your pocket. And let me get that. Uh, uh, so he didn't earn of wages, earn of wages, oh, get it back in hopes. Go ahead, bro. You got more? Go ahead. This yeah. is amusement. Go ahead, get amusement. Uh, this is the Google definition. This is for uh, amusement. It says a state or experience of finding something funny. Is that the etymology? No, nah, I'm about to get no. it. No, but see, here's the. I, I'm glad you read that because here's the flip side. It's the state or what of finding something what funny. Funny. All right. A lot of people, when they see this for their own amusement, they find it funny. They make mockery. They laugh like the person who went by us. They made mockery like the scripture says, how long will you scorn us the light in your scorning? So the people will come by and make mockery not knowing that we're giving them the words of life because it comes from the holy scriptures. The words are not going to come out beautiful. They're going to come out rough and rugged pending the time that you're in. So people, our people go by and make mockery of this for their amusement. They find it funny, but there's a flip side to amusement. Go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna read that. Etymology, absolutely. So, so this is et uh, this is on Etym Online Amusement. It says uh, 1640 division uh -huh. or attention. Attention, es Go especially ahead. in military action. Uh huh. Keep going. From French. Keep going. That's the French word. All right. It says Keep noun going, action. Uh, that was that was about it. Uh, now, right there, right? Di no diversion of attention. Now, click on amuse. Says, uh, amuse late 15th century to divert the attention. Uh, it's all good <laughs> to the best you can. Uh, could they get to them Latin and French words? No, du du duble, uh, amuse. Uh -huh. It says fool. Uh, man. it's all right. Uh, it's all right. If it's a Latin word, you can kind of say it to the better. It says, make, make fun of. Make fun of. Go ahead. Liberty, literally, literally uh -huh. a case of muse. Muse, go ahead. As the uh, as a distraction from A at to from Latin. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. But there's a point. Can I see this real quick? Because yeah. there was a point. Amusement goes to the word amuse to divert the attention. Beguile, dilute. Okay, also cause to muse distraction. So guess what? No, no, they do that. They send people amusement to distract their attention. But guess what? We should, according to that definition, we should really be the amusement of our people. Right. Their distraction should be here. This should divert their attention to come to here because all hell is coming. Yeah. 
So your amusement and not for anything funny, it should be your attention should be diverted here according to that real definition. But a lot of people find it on the flip side, amusing the what? Be mocked, to make mockery of us. And you're gonna pay for that mockery. As a matter of fact, let me get Proverbs 1 and 22. We can start there. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. Uh -huh. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Simple means fool or foolish. And simplicity means foolishness. So how long, ye simple, will you love simplicity? Right, go ahead. And the scorners delight in their scorning. Scorners mean mockers. The scorners delight in their scorning. Go ahead. And fools hate knowledge. How long will you fools hate knowledge? Ooh. How long will you make mockery and stray away from the words that are coming out of the scriptures? All hell, earlier we were talking about the MOTB, AKA it means the mark of the beast. They're setting the what stage for the mark of the beast to be implemented during this time. And a lot of people go by us and they don't listen to that and they miss that warning. Again, when you go to the Amazon Fresh, when you go to certain Whole Foods, in order to get, even get into the store, you have to scan your palm. If your palm is in the system, you have to scan the app, the Amazon app, or you have to scan your, your credit card to even get into the store. Now, when you go into the mark of the beast, it says you won't be able to what? Buy or sell unless you have that mark. They're setting the stage for that, early, early we read, we talked about 70% of the oh. countries, 70% of countries did a survey that they want to move on away from the American dollar to a central bank digital currency. So that central bank digital currency lines up with what? The mark of the beast, where you be able to buy or sell. And here it is, we're warning you, but people are making mockery. Now, if you don't get this warning, you're gonna die. Plain and simple. You're gonna take that mark of the beast, and when you take that MOTB, the Lord said himself that he's gonna kill you. Like I said, mark of the beast. M, mark, of, O, of, the, T is the, B is beast. M-O-T-B, mark of the beast. That's written in the scriptures, okay? Go ahead. No, what, what we got? What we got? I got songs. Get, get Haggai. Get Haggai. This is Haggai chapter good. 1, verse 6. Ye have sown much and oh, drink. No. Did we, no, no, no. Finish Proverbs. This Proverbs, is Proverbs chapter 1, right. verse 23. Huh? Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto reproof you. Reproof means correction. See, a lot of the people that you see on the side and also our people that are scattered, they don't believe in correction. See, a lot of people, when they come see us, they think this is a black thing. They think this is a color thing. All them Hebrew Israelites, they're racist. Oh, they're this, they're that. According to the scripture, let me get this point, the Heavenly Father is racist because he's for a particular race. Racist means for a particular race. Racist, like a pianist, mm -hmm. somebody who plays a piano. Violinist, somebody who plays a violin. It doesn't mean the violinist hates a piano. Yeah, like a, a bicyclist. A bicyclist, somebody who rides a bicycle. It doesn't mean that since I ride a bicycle that I hate skateboards. Even though I do hate skateboards. <laughs> See, our people who are saying it's a lot of our people. Go back to the people that are on this side, biblically, the 12 tribes. And the message of this Bible is for who it was made for. The word of the Lord was given to the tribes. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Jacob's name was changed to Israel, and Israel had what? 12 sons, and they had what? They were the progenitors of the Israelites. So how do you have a people over there in the land of Israel today calling themselves the Lord's people and not all the tribes are there? Right. Mm. You only got three. You only got, and they barely got that. Because <laughs> every last one of them is saying they're Jews. Or, or, one, or, or they'll say they're Levi. Levi. <laughs> a pair of goddamn jeans. <laughs> Levi. Levi's. Levi. No, Levi's and Levi. stuff like that. A pair of goddamn uh, tight-ass jeans. 
<laughs> and they'll barely say they're Benjamin. They may call themselves Benjamin, like Benjamin Netanyahu, but guess what? You barely hear that they're Benjaminites. So if you're the real people, where are all the tribes at? Where's the peace? Where's the peace? Mm -hmm. They said they went into the land, they declared Israel the land, 1947. Mm -hmm. November 29th, 1947, leading into 1948. They declared Israel as their land and that they fulfilled biblical prophecy. If that's the case, where's the peace? There is no peace, there's war on the planet. Why? Because the true Israelites are not set in that land yet. Fact. And that's a fact. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yo. Oh, Proverbs. In Proverbs. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 24. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Look, how does the Lord stretch out his hand? By his prophets. Right now he's talking to the people, and if the people on this sign don't listen, they're going to be caught out just like the rest of the heathen. Heathen means other nations. We are who we, we are who our father is. Our father makes us who we are. If you're an Israelite, you're an Israelite because of your father. Right. Now the people over there in the land of Israel today, they believe that they're who they are because of their mother. They say because of their mother, that's who they are. The mother is just like likened unto the earth. The earth requires things to be put in it, AKA seeds, okay? The earth didn't make that, look, it helped uh, give the tree nutrients, but it didn't make that tree what it is like that. It's the seed. Mm -hmm. That's That particular tree has a seed and it came out like that. Like a different seed, an apple tree is gonna come out of apple. Tree. No matter where you put it on the earth. And you have different types of soils on the earth. Yep. You are who your father is. So it's not about color. It's about you going back to this royal line. Just like doing slavery. When a uh, when an Edomite, a so-called white person, which we call Edomites, and not all of them are Edomites, but if an Edomite slept with a Israelite slave during uh, slavery, that child came out as an Edomite, even though it came out with, with color. And guess what? Before they passed that law about whatever comes out of the slave woman, that's what the woman is, that's what the uh, child is, the one drop rule and all that, before that, everybody knew that that child was that slave master's son. But for them to limit confusion, they just passed the law and said, whatever comes out of the mother, that's what it is. They carnally, they tried to what? Stop the Israelites. They try, they try to make everything by color. So we do that, we can weed out, even if we kill our own, we can weed out Israelites and we can weed out who's Edomites. They tried carnally, but it didn't work. Go ahead. Verse 25. But ye have said it not all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. And you have said it not, or put you set to the side. You put away not. You put away all the Lord's counsel. Alright? Man, get man. It's gonna go home. Don't want to do nothing positive towards you. How about snow shot? Delinquents, and the Lord is going to destroy all those that don't believe in Him. Talking about those that are on this side. All right? To include their offspring that are scattered all over the globe, no matter what they look like. Go ahead. Verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. Now, guess what? Since you want to mock, remember we read verse 23 the scorners delight in their scorning, right? Since you want to mock and make mockery of the Lord and his prophets, the Heavenly Father is going to make mockery of you. Yeah. That's the direct balance. Because the Lord, remember he said, I think the other brother that came up here, remember he talked about, I don't believe the Lord is going to judge your mouth. The Lord has, everything is to the Lord's power. It's one big control of the Lord. And he has a list of rules. He said, hey, if you cross over this line, this is gonna to happen to you, all right? 
So if you cross over this line, you're going to be destroyed. I'm just making an analogy. If you cross over this line, you're going to be destroyed. All they that stay over here, I'm going to keep alive. That's the Lord's rules. If you don't listen to the Lord's rules and cross over that line, you're going to be destroyed. But if you listen to them, you're going to live. That's essentially what the scriptures are talking about. There's a line. Is either if you cross it and go serve other gods, follow other philosophies, the Lord is going to, to destroy you because it's not his way. Let me get a Baruch. Baruch 4. Baruch 4 and 1. Then we're going to go back to Proverbs and then, you know, then the other scriptures, all that. No? When you go to, when, while he's getting that, when you go to the first book of John, well, not the first book, this John, John chapter 1, it tells you that his son is life. Remember it says son is the word, and in him is life. His son is the life. So what's the opposite of not having the son? It would have to be death. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Right. Listen, this if you first, got it. This is yep. John chapter 1, verse 4. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. In him, the son was life. The Lord comes in this book. If you listen to him. And it says the life was the light of men. It shined in darkness. This place is dark. It constantly makes you stumble and fall. It's constant traps. The only way to get out of that is to what have the light. Oh, 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 wait. That was it on that, right? Yeah. Go back to Proverbs, bro. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Verse 27. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. And I did a video the other day on that. All right, now, the, the main reason, one of the main reasons why he won't, come to you and deliver you because you won't have his name. A lot of our people are on that whole, that whole trend of not knowing the Heavenly Father's name, not caring about the name. One of the reasons why you won't be delivered is because you don't have the name. Absolutely. Right? That's one of the reasons. Go ahead. Come. <clears throat> Verse 28, uh -huh. uh, then they shall call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find yeah, me. Yeah, because number one, you'll call upon a false name, and he's not going to come, mm. okay? And if even if you did have the actual name because you didn't choose to follow him, he's not going to answer you. That's why this is serious. That's why we say, brother, when he came up, you the main thing is you have to listen. You've been doing too much talking in your whole life. Everybody does too much talking. Everybody has a social media page. Everybody has a voice. Everybody's talking shit. So even when the scriptures come out, people feel the need to want to run their mouth. Stop. This ain't the Christian church. Even mm. in the Christian church, you can't run your mouth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, and I'm gonna tell you something. Even if the Christian church was on the outside, and they had a podium on the outside. They still, because they'll say, wait a minute, but you guys are out here for that reason, right? So we can ask questions. Okay, cool. If the Christian church went on the outside with a podium and speakers, people would still not interject. Go ahead, bro. It's Ecclesiastes. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll switch with uh, switch with, uh Come. Oh, okay. I'll switch with him. Uh, give him give the yeah. scriptures. Proverbs 1. You know, all the scriptures. This is Ecclesiastes 5 verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High. Uh -huh. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Heavenly Father. That's what it says. Keep thy foot. Then it said what? Be more what? Ready to hear. Then to give the sacrifice of fools. Because you don't understand that when you come up here, you're at the altar. This is a spiritual altar. It don't have to be built physically for it to be an altar. 
What are you placing upon this altar? You're, pay, you're placing your life and your time upon this altar. If you keep talking, you're giving what? The offering of a fool. And what is a fool? A fool is what? Right in his own eyes. When you go to Proverbs 12 and 15, it's another one in Proverbs, I believe, 28 and 26, I believe. But, you know, I could be mistaken. Go ahead. You, you just going to say something out? Oh, go ahead, brother. You can read it. It says, uh, but they consider not that they give, they, they do evil. Yeah. By you talking and wilding the hell out, you don't, you don't consider that you're doing evil. Right. And what, yeah, and you're doing evil to yourself. How you want? Like how you want to talk over? Uh, uh, what if somebody say, "Yo, yo, watch, watch those cats around the corner. They, they got clubs. They got bats. They got guns. They robbing everybody that go through there." How you want to talk over a warning like that? And you about to go around the corner? That's what's going on. Right. Right. It's crazy to say that yep. because a lot of these dudes think they can't be touched. Yep. But a lot of like something uh a lot of these dudes don't think there's not another one of yep. you out there doing this willing to do the same thing to lose their life over just wow. something small. Yeah. And like, yo, he told you like, oh, the dudes around the corner, they're gonna get you. You wanna go around there anyway because you, you fling your gat, you got the crap, you know, the whatever. But you're gonna go around there anyway and, and, and get got. Yeah. And thinking not not knowing that like there's somebody just like you around the corner. But the crazy part is they gotta see them guys around the corner to believe. That's why. By, by the time you go around and see it, it's too late. Yeah. They gonna run. There he is. That's why. I, that's why the scripture say it's only. Um, it will take death to change. It. Absolutely. It will only, it will only take death. That, that that's why I like that analogy to the scriptures because the faith. You gotta have faith to believe that those are guys around the corner ready to destroy you. You have to have faith to believe that. Oh, and we're not we're not just uh telling you it's guys around the corner, we're giving you that track record. Damn. We're giving you pictures showing that the, the victims of what happened at, you know uh, uh, when they went around the corner. What is that liken unto? We're showing you the history of Esau and what he has done to our people and what he is doing to our people. We're showing you the history and things of this nature right now. And a lot of our people will rather, I gotta see it for myself. But by then it may be too late, man. That's why the Lord says, seek ye Lord while he may be found, man. But let's go to uh, Proverbs from the scriptures. No. Did you have more on that? No. Come, come. This is Proverbs 1 and 29. It says, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Yeah, because the Lord said what? Uh, um, teach them when you go into the law one of the commandments is what to teach them the fear of the Lord mm. that's an actual commandment alright uh, the actual commandment is to what to have the fear of the Lord what is that uh, Deuteronomy 4 you see the Deuteronomy 4 I don't know why I'm thinking Deuteronomy 4 or something else he well, said the, it's actually a commandment no get the one where it says um, I will teach them the fear of the Lord that's one that's a separate scripture and then it's another one. So I will teach them the fear of the Lord. That's what we must do. And um, there's another one. No, Deuteronomy 6 and 13, and I'll read it. And it says, this is Deuteronomy 6 and 13. This is actually a commandment. It says, thou shalt fear the Lord thy God. See, that's a commandment. The commandments are not just uh, in Exodus, the 20th chapter, the Ten Commandments. It's, uh, how do you... This is a commandment. How do you fear the Lord? Because somebody said, when you go to school, they'll say, fear is a noun. How do you, how do you show a fear? It's actually a verb. Like, like they said, how can you show thinking? That person themselves are thinking. That's actually a verb. There's some things that are just beyond people's comprehension. How do you, how, do, how does the person honor the commandment of fearing the Lord? By what? Keeping the commandments. By what? Uh, 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 behind closed doors, actually praying to Yahweh Shema was shot. The Lord sees you actually fearing him. That's an action, man. So it said, Deuteronomy 6 and 13, it says, Salakia, it says, Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him and shall swear by his name. We make oaths by his name in righteousness. Right? But it says, thou shalt fear. See, again, 
it's not, hey brother, there's no point in, in snapping at all these people that's going by and whatever. Let them have their day. Because again, 2024 is off the, it's gonna be off the chain. You think 2023 was something. In 2022 and 2021 and 2020. 2024 is gonna be off the meat rack, as they say. All right? Off the goddamn chain. Wait till the digital currency gets uh, uh, instituted more. Wait. All you northern tribes, a lot of you northern tribes are heavy into that dollar. You're heavy into fiscal cash. You do a lot of things under the table, right? They want actual fiscal. A lot of northern tribes, especially in this area, they don't have bank accounts. Or if they do, they rather you wire the money or sell the money. When he comes with his mandates, you're gonna to have to adjust to a new way of life of being trapped. That's gonna make you uncomfortable. The end of, gotta talk about your ass. Nigga woman, that's what the end of means. You are gonna go through a harsh reality. You gonna believe in splitting checks then? 50-50? You gonna believe, you gonna believe in 25? 2,500, look, one fourth? You gonna believe in halves, 50-50? When that money gets taken down. This dude, that's a hell of a way to stop a bus. Man, he did it for all the if he was really rude, he just he just took off right there. Some bus drivers do that. Yes, mm. they do. All right, but again, you will believe in the new way of life when that money gets changed over from the U.S. dollar. And who knows? They can sit there and take the U.S. dollar and go completely to zero, and everybody got to start over. All that money that Eve you just saved up, go in the trash. Because a lot of Eves, they save up a lot of bread and they use everybody else's. Don't, let's not forget about a lot of Eves that have paper. And they, they stack up, they got 100 grand, 200. In the bank, just sitting there for a rainy day, the rainy day fund, as they like to say. All that's going to fall. Yeah, absolutely get the scriptures, bro. Yep. This is uh, Deuteronomy 4, verse 10. Especially in the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy power in Hebron, when the Lord said unto me, Gather the people together, and I will make them hear my words, uh -huh. that they may learn to fear me all the days that thou shalt live upon the your, earth. Your pa, bro, because the brother said, I got you earlier. Like he had a precept. How do you fear the Lord? Off the words, the things that are written. When you hear how the Lord tells you to do things. If you hear, remember, remember we always say the, the, the scriptures are written, laws, stats, commandments, what? We always say history. We always say judgments, right? The judgment is a part of it. When you hear of the judgments of the Heavenly Father, that can actually bring fear to your mind, okay? The Apostle uh, uh, Gabar does videos, right? small videos on the fear of the Lord, like the plane that turned upside down and crashed. Can you, can you imagine the terror that was on the people's hearts in that plane? And I typed on his uh, comment board, he did a video years ago showing people died by the things that they actually said. In the same manner, I'll give you an example. That guy, Otis Redding, oh, yeah. sitting at the dock of the bay, his plane crashed, and the plane was floating at the fucking dock of the bay. Ooh. It didn't go underwater or nothing. It crashed. He was completely intact. He died according to his last song. One of his last songs. The woman, uh, uh, Patrice, I forgot her name. I wrote it in the comment board. I knew it at the time. That's she, fine. Patrick, yeah, yes. She said... And one of her songs was fall to pieces and she got into a plane crash and you couldn't find one like her pieces were scattered all over the place she died according to her song if that doesn't give you fear i don't know what does that means the lord programmed you to sing that song and to die by that manner later go ahead and keep playing with the lord you can go by and do these stupid ass signs in the car, 
and all this and laugh and make mockery. Wait till you die according to how you don't like. Mm. I always bring up that scripture. Shamash knows, bro. The uh, the wicked so uh, basically die by uh, the fear that they don't like essentially. It don't, it's not worded that way, but it's in Proverbs. Oh, the fear of the Lord shall come upon the wicked. Yeah, 10 and 24. Proverbs 10 and 24. I, I'll get it. Pro Proverbs, I'm right here, bro. Because I, I want to, you know, I want to get it. This is Proverbs 10 and 24. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him. But the desire of the righteous shall be granted. You see the duality in that? The desire of the righteous is to be delivered. So if we want stay in righteousness, we will be delivered. You see? This is the day of mockery. Right. Northern tribes walking by talking shit in another language to their friends or whatever. People going by in cars, people going by snickering and left. It's cool. Your day is coming. Hey, this 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 mockery is the least we can go through. Right. Compared to what Yahweh Shai went through. Beaten, hairs pulled out of his face. Wow. Slap punched, ridiculed, giving vinegar to drink. Can you imagine being thirsty and then your source for a uh, hydration when you're down at your uh, your lowest and you really need water and food? Your own people. Your own people's giving you vinegar to drink. Ooh. Now I know some uh, some brothers. We drink vinegar. We mix it with water for the for the properties. But can you imagine drinking straight vinegar to rehydrate? This is the least we can go through. That's why when all hell breaks loose and we're going, you're going to be seeking us, man. That's why, that's but, why the, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead yeah, no, that's why the scripture say, he said he ain't have no way, uh, nowhere to lay his head. Because mm. even he laid down right there, like somebody will see him and want to try to kill him. Because of the, the, the name that he brought. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, bro. This is uh, Isaiah. 33 and 6, uh -huh. it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Yeah, and part of that wisdom and knowledge is what? Wisdom, all wisdom comes from the Lord. The scriptures say wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. That wisdom is what? These scriptures, the words. So wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time. Why? Because we know with this wisdom and knowledge during those times, we can call on the name of the Lord with faith. That, that uh, supersedes the, uh, uh, the law. It's far beyond keeping the actual law. If the troops hit you over the head and throw you in a concentration camp and they give you a jumpsuit to wear, how can you keep the law? What if they throw you in there like they do in the military in some prisons and they shave all your hair off, as they like to do? How are you gonna keep the law? Through your faith, you're able to what? Keep the law of righteousness. Go ahead. It says, and strength of salvation, the fear of See, the these, Lord. These, these women, Salaki, brother, the fear of the Lord, Salaki, read that. It says, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. See, and that's what we were talking about earlier, about the fear. It's a commandment to fear the Lord. The men of the Lord's job is to teach the people the fear of the Lord. And when you get that fear of the Lord, it leads towards your salvation, your stability in whatever time you're in, and ultimately your salvation. It all starts with the fear. The fear has, there's faith in fear. Oh, can we get the definition of fear? Wisdom of Solomon? That's Wisdom of Solomon. What is that, uh, 17 or 14? Well, that, that fear, it, it said the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yes. Mm -hmm. like that's, that's what he thinks is valuable. That's a, you, you learn how to uh, please the Lord, you know? Mm -hmm. the, the fear of him, which was what he requires of you, what he wants. That's what he sees as valuable, man. Along with, that's why I was in that same scripture where it's called wisdom and knowledge and stability in that time. And then yeah. fear is, is set alone. But deal with the qualities that you need, you know, in order to be able to be stable in these last days, man. You, see, you hear what the uh, Shaw said, the Malak said, man? Those are the qualities that you need. You, it's a requirement. The Lord has requirements. You can't just call upon him and say that you're delivered. And then that only goes but so far. You're hoping that in death you'll be delivered. Everybody's what? Everybody goes back to the Heavenly Father when they die. So the whole concept of heaven and hell, that's Greek. 
You know what you're taking a picture of? You do? What are you taking a picture of? Get him, get him. No, no, no. You know what you're taking? No, no, that's all right. You know what you're taking a picture of? What? What do you? No, what are you taking a picture of? Yeah, Why? I'm a visitor, yeah. Why? Yeah, just, I find it interesting. You know what? I got something for you. Take a picture of the sign. Okay. Can I? Yeah, absolutely. Take a picture, take a picture of that sign. Yup. I'm coming from Jerusalem, by the way. Oh, Jerusalem. Oh, yes, Jerusalem. Yeah. So, so you are uh, Israeli? Uh, or no. Palestin Palestinian? No. What, what's I'm just you? living there. What's your nationality? Uh, I'm from uh, Babylonia. Huh? Babylon. Kurdistan, Kurdish region. Kurdistan? Yeah. Okay, oh uh, yeah, okay. So you probably... So I speak uh, seven languages. That polygon, okay. That's I cool. That's uh, my cool. Yeah, yeah so you, you probably... you. I'll just say this. You possibly go back to either Ishmael or Elam. According to the Bible, Ishmael was the so-called Arabs, and Elam is what you see the Persians over there today. Do you, do you identify closer to the Persians or the Arabs? I, I don't know. Yeah. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. That's but fine. I, I, I speak uh, Hebrew and Aramaic. My sister speaks Aramaic. That's, speak hey, well, you know what? Even further than that, do you know the Paleo Hebrew? Yeah. Cool. What's this say right here? This is Paleo Hebrew. Oh, hey, there. Yahuda? Because. Yahuda? Yeah, Yahuda. Yahuda? Yeah. Yahuda? Yeah. Well, we say Yah, the Yahweh. Because yeah, really, on. really, it's this way. I'm looking at it the inverted ah, yeah, way. Okay. It's really from right to left. Yes, yes. I'm, yes, from right to left. Okay. So it's really Yah, Ha, Wa, Ha, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, yeah. Well, see, well, they say Yahweh. Yeah. That's not the real name of the Lord. Mm, yeah. That's when you add modern Hebrew characters and things to this nature. Back, when you go further, further back, it's the A and the I sound. When you keep on further back. The more modern Hebrew you get, you get the V's. You may get some of these, some of these sounds like va. But going further back, you don't have those sounds. Thank you so much. I yep. Yep. Shalom. Hello. Yeah. I'm being, I'm being funny. Mm. All right. Since he said he speaks all those languages. Mm. All right. <laughs> so this is all. Wisdom of Solomon again, again. You know, our people are scattered. Right. Just because somebody feels a certain way, or looks a certain way, but he, he just wanted to come up here and take pictures. I mean, if you want to do that, then it, okay. This is bigger than that. You know, go ahead, bro, it's lock it. This is Wisdom of Solomon 17, verse 12. Uh-huh. For the fear is nothing else but the betraying of the succors which reasoneth offereth. Look at that. Fear is nothing else but the betraying of the succor. Now, you go into succor means help. So fear is nothing but the betraying of the help that what? That succors that what? Which, uh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Which reasoneth Arthurus. Was it reasoning or reasoneth? Re reason, reason. Yeah, which reason, yeah, which reason offers. So that's what fear is. Now, when it comes to the Heavenly Father, there is no reasoning. We have to do what he says. Right. There is no reason in, her, in our mind that we can reason and say, we don't gotta fear him. When it comes to him, we gotta be totally without any type of reason to say, look, through his power, he's able to destroy us. Now you have some people that don't have the fear of the Lord. In their mind, they're reasoning like, oh, he's not gonna destroy me. Oh, I can tell, I can say his name, whatever he, uh, we want. Oh, we good. That's insane when you think about the omnipotency of the Heavenly Father. How they're able to turn you inside out. You not having fear, you thinking that you having some type of manly carnal reason for the Heavenly Father is insane. Because remember, your reasoning is carnal. And your carnal reasoning says in your mind, Oh, I'm good. He, he won't do anything to me. Oh, uh, uh, Sirach 5. Sirach 5 and 1. Uh, um, uh, what, what, what else did we have? Uh, Salaki. Haggai. Haggai 1 and Psalms 83. And Khan, one. Khan. Well, let's, okay, Khan. Let's get uh, that one. The Sirach 5, yep, five verse five 1. one yep. Set not thy heart upon the goods and say not, I have enough for my life. Uh-huh, keep going. 
follow not thy own mind and thy strength. See, follow like not your own mind. If your own mind is telling you, ah, oh, the Heavenly Father, he ain't going to do nothing to me. I'm good. That lack of fear, thinking that you can reason with a being that's beyond your comprehension, is insane. Remember, this is not reasoning with a regular man. That's why we're not supposed to fear a regular man. Because with our reasoning, we can say, this nigga has eyes and a nose and lips like I do. He could die like me. He's mortal man. Now, of course, within the balance, we have fear for certain men under the Heavenly Father's program, which is ultimately having fear in the Heavenly Father. Right. Get what I'm saying here. But I'm saying this is a, a typical carnal nigga. We're not supposed to fear them. So through a reasoning, we can reason that this dude is a demon. Why do you think uh, uh, King David had no fear? Because he reasoned and said, Goliath is an uncircumcised heathen. We got the heavenly father on our side. Man, I hope one of these niggas fall and fall hard. Man, go ahead. This is, um, Ecclesiasticus of Sarat, 5 verse 1. Set not thy heart upon thy goods, and say not, I have enough for my life. Now, I'll go back it up shortly after, go ahead. Follow not thy own heart, I'm just like it. Follow not thy own mind, and, thou, and thy strength, to walk in the ways of thy heart. See, follow not your own mind and your own strength. Don't think that you can carnally reason and, and, and not have fear of the Lord. Right. That's insane. Yeah. When you when you when you are taught the fear of the Lord in the Scripture, there is no reasoning with that. How can you reason with a being that's beyond your comprehension? He's the one that makes you tall, short, understanding, understanding. You're breathing because of, he keeps your spirit in your body because there's such thing called spontaneous combustion. Certain people, their spirit came out of their body, so to speak, and their body exploded because. That heat and energy is inside of your body. Certain people, certain people, their whole entire body melted and exploded because the Lord allowed that spirit to come out of that. How can you reason? How can you reason with that? Whose body burns up from the inside out with actual fire? Because the spirit, the scripture says that your, your, your spirit is what? Ministers of flaming fire, right? Energy. When you go to Hebrews, it's angels, ministers of flaming fire. When you talk about the spirits and energy. There is no reasoning with this. So you got to have fear. That's why the scripture says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You're not fucking listening. The Lord got to kill. He's going to have to kill you because yeah. you're not... You're trying to drown his words from you listening. So you're going to do something that's going to cause you death, which a lot of these people are doing. That's why the scriptures say these are people uh, unto like dead bodies. Yeah, yep. they, 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 yeah. just, they ain't got it. They don't want They don't want it. You know, and if they walk by and they hear us, they don't want to hear it. You know, they want to go ahead and live towards Esau's ways. So that's why it says, go unto you that goes down to Egypt for help. That's right. Because people, they, they want Esau's help. They want to take the pills, get surgery, right. get the BBLs, yeah. you know? Fix whatever they got, insecurities they have, but it's all starts within. Yeah. A lot of, that's why Esau keeps pushing, like, oh, what? If you can get, take this pill, it's going to help you. But if you can take this, or you can do this, it's going to help you. If not, you got to work within to work without. That's right. Because Esau's not, he's not, he's not helping. He's right. just destroying and then he wants to destroy you so much to where you have to now. There's nothing you can do. You ain't, there's no plant life. At one point, he's going to make this world so bad, there's no, you're not going to see trees, you're not going to see plant life. Everything is going to be laboratory, and you got to go to him for help. There's nothing right. you can do about it. There's nothing. Not, not nothing. You know, you can't kill yourself. There's not going to be anything to kill you. It's going to be totally under him. If he wants you to die, you can die. But other than that, it's not up to you. And that's how that's why the scriptures say what his ways is nothing but death hey he, the, yeah that's, that's psalm 68 around 20 when it says uh unto the lord belong the issues of death meaning deliverance from death so the lord the lord can what decide to deliver you from death or actually give you over to it point blank period again how did how does somebody die from spontaneous combustion 
So that shows you that everybody has a spirit. So all them people talking about, where do you go when you die? I believe when you die, you just go to nothingness. That's Esau stuff, man. When actual people, their spirits are actually coming out of their body and burning their body. That's crazy. But the Lord can do that. All right, you got something now? Go ahead, yes. Uh, yep. This is Proverbs 21 and 30. It says, there is no wisdom no under nor understanding right, right. nor counsel against the Lord. There's no wisdom, understanding, knowledge against the Heavenly Father. There's no other types of reasonings outside of the Heavenly Father. It's this. So you gotta have fear. And if you don't have fear now, you will have fear later. Everybody's gonna have fear. It's just gonna come at different times. But it's gonna be fear for the righteous, and it's gonna be deliverance. The righteous is going to have the fear that's going to have them be delivered. And you're going to have the wicked that's going to have the fear that's going to lead to their destruction. They're going to fear the power of the Heavenly Father. They're like, oh my God, but die. The righteous is going to fear the Heavenly Father and live. Right. This is Psalms 104, verse 4. Who maketh his angels spirits. His minister. I'm going to read it again. It says, who maketh his angels spirits. His ministers are flame, flaming fire. Yeah, and guess what? When you uh, the scripture says when um, when you die, the spirit goes back to the heavenly Father who gave it. Right now, he said the spirit. Now remember, when the uh, uh, wicked Israelites tried to confound and trap up Yahweh with that whole, hey, when you die, whose wife, whose wife does she belong to? Whose husband is she? Remember, they they said, Lord. This woman had multiple uh, husbands. So when she died, who, which one of those is her husbands in the heaven? And remember he said, you do err not knowing the scripture. Mm. And then he was saying, they, hey, in, this, in that realm, they either what? They don't drink, eat, they don't have sex, nor give it in marriage. But they said, be what? But they be as one of the angels. Linking that up with that scripture, angels, ministers of uh, flame and fire, okay? All of our spirits have energy and fire. And the Heavenly Father can actually make them burst. And we're going to close on that. The fact that the Lord's power can destroy you. Call Haloyim. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders. Great millstone, peace, and shalom to the left. Hey, shalom. Shalom. Shalom.